Hello everyone, welcome you all. So in this video, we are going to learn about uh, abstraction in Python. So let us start with uh, what is abstract class. So abstract classes are the classes that contains one or more abstract methods. Abstract classes are the classes that contains one or more abstract methods. So what is an abstract method here? So abstract method is a method that is only have a definition, but we don't declare the body of the method. That means it doesn't have any implementation. That is called as an abstract method. So when I create an abstract class that should contains the abstract method. Okay, so abstract classes cannot be instantiated and require subclasses to provide implementations for the abstract method. So what does what does it mean is when I create a class an abstract class suppose that class contains abstract methods we cannot create an object for the abstract class. So whichever class is created to implement those methods from abstract class so we can create an object for this. So for example let us say I have a class called as A and this is an abstract class. This is an abstract class and which contains the abstract methods which contains the abstract methods means these methods are not yet implemented only the definition is there. Now if you want to uh, use this class I must create one more subclass and extend this class into in the subclass and here we have to implement that method. Okay, we must implement this method in the subclass and then we can create an object for this subclass and then we can access this method. That means we cannot directly create an object for the sub uh, object for the abstract class. So if you want to create we have to create an object for the subclass which is extended from the abstract class. So what we understood here is abstract class is a class which contains abstract methods. Abstract method is a method which contains only the definition but not implementation. And but what is the use of abstract class means if I know the requirement if we don't know the design part then we create only abstract classes. So where we think where, where we can apply this class means suppose we have a requirement what we should implement but how, how to implement that we don't know. In that case we can just create an abstract class and create all the methods which are abstract methods and later point of time we can create some classes those classes will implement these methods from this abstract class and we can create an object for that particular subclass and we can access this. Okay, so abstract classes contains the abstract method. Abstract method is a, a method which contains the definition but not the body or implementation and those methods implementation should be done in the subclasses and we cannot create an object for the abstract class. Okay, these are the few important points which we need to remember about abstract class. Now let us see a few more examples uh, to understand more about abstract class. Now let me open PyCharm. So here I will create a new Python file. I will name it as a abstraction demo. Now okay. Now here I am going to show you very very basic thing. So if you want to create a class, let me just create a class called A, right? So this is a, just a class, right? So I want to make this class as an abstract method. Sorry, I want to make this class as an abstract abstract class. How we can make it as in Python there is a predefined class called as a ABC. Predefined class called as a ABC. So what is this ABC is ABC is predefined predefined abstract class. Predefined abstract class in Python. ABC itself is the name of the class. So ABC is a, a name of the class which is predefined abstract class present in a Python. So if I want to create my own abstract class, we must extend this ABC class. Okay, we have must extend this ABC class. Now in now A is a class which becomes a abstract class now because this is extended ABC, right? So this is an abstract class. Now if I want to create an abstract method, let me just create a method first. Def, let me just say display and here is self. Okay, so self keyword we have to use, right? So self. So now I have just created a method and inside this method, what I can do is I will just say uh, something called <coughs> I'll print something here. Let's say print. Okay, so what we can do is 
okay so here i'm not writing any implementation for this method right so abstract method in the sense it should not have any implementation abstract method in the sense it should not have any implementation right so it doesn't have any implementation so how we can do that just say say none none means no in, no in, uh, no implementation for this particular method i'll just say uh, none all right now one more important thing is so this abc class we are extending to a right so this class present in some module called abc module so from this module we have to import this class right so how we can import this we have to use from abc module import abc class okay so from abc module import abc class okay and then this error will go on so one more thing we have to do so if you want to make this, this is still it is a normal method okay if you want to make this method as abstract method we have to specify one more qualifier that is abstract method abstract method this is a simple qualifier so we need to write in the small case letters okay abstract abstract method okay so then when i say abstract method then it becomes an abstract method okay abstract method so a a b c and uh, at the rate a b s s t r a c t m e t h o d so this is abstract method and this is also we need to import from abc package so here comma i'll write abstract method okay so from abc package from abc module we have to import abc class and also abc abstract method so these two comes from abc module and then i have extended this abc into class a now a becomes an abstract class and the display is a abstract method display is a abstract method because i say this uh, the rate abstract method qualifier and here i haven't implemented any body in this right so this is abstract method now if you want to implement this abstract method we must create one more class okay and this class i will just say b and this b class extended a now here i will implement this method how to implement this method i'll just say def display and now here i will print some message print this is display this is display method okay this is semicolon is missing okay so now what i have done is i have created one more subclass and inside this subclass i have implemented this method because abstract class we cannot implement this method in the subclass we have to implement this method all right now which or which class we have to create an object now so as i said before we cannot create an object for abstract class so in that case we have to create an object for chain class so b is a chain class which is extended from a class so here i will create an ob object for uh, b class okay and now by using this object obj i will call display method i will call display method so now what happens when i run this code okay this is a display method is giving so this is perfectly giving so what we have understood here is uh, when i call display method okay so it will go first here because implementation is here so this method is coming from again a class because a is extended into b right so this method we have implemented here so display method will call here right so this is how we need to access the abstract method and abstract class so we cannot directly create a object for abstract class we can create object for chain class and then we can access the method implementation is there here okay so this is a simple example for abstract class how to create an abstract class how to create abstract method and how to access them by using a chain class and when we need to go for this concept if you know the requirement very clearly but if it doesn't know the how to implement this then you can go and use this concept so just create a abstract class create a different abstract methods for your requirements and later point of time once you know the implementation then create multiple classes to implement those methods okay now to understand uh, clearly let me show you one more example how we can with how we can work with this uh, abstract class and i'll create one more example here i will create uh, one abstract class called animal let's say class animal okay this is a abstract class so abc we have to import from abc package abc module import 
ABC class and also I need to import abstract method, right? So abstract method. All right. So now this class is a this class is an abstract class. So I have to specify the abstract method also, right? So here I will create a method called as eat and self. This method self means this method is belongs to this class. And inside this, I am not writing anything. I'll just say pass. So pass means no body at all. Okay, nothing. Now here. What I can do is uh, this class contains a method. So I want to make this method. I want to make this method as an abstract method. So how we can make it at the rate, at the rate, abstract method. I want to make is an abstract method, abstract method. So now this method becomes an abstract method. Now I will create uh, one more abstract method here. Okay, so not abstract method. I will create one more class. To implement this as abstract method, okay. So class, I will create a method, another class called as a anim, uh, tiger, and this class is extended animal class. This class extended animal class, okay. So this class is extended animal class. Now what we need to do, we must implement this method, all right. So we must implement this method inside this subclass. So def eat and here i will just print okay so this is uh, eat this is tiger eat non-witch okay it is non-witch and then i will create uh, one more class so i have just created one class called the tiger which is extended from animal means we must implement this method in the child class it is done now along with this i will also create uh, one more class and that is a cow Right, so this will also extend everything from the abstract class that is animal class, right? So colon, and now cow is another class, another subclass which is also extended from the animal sub, uh, abstract class. Now here cow as an animal. Now here again I can extend the same method. So here I can write the implementation of body. So print here I will just write eat which eat which right so now what i have done i have just created one abstract class which contains one abstract method and uh, two different classes i have created and both are in both are uh, extended from the abstract class and this abstract method is implemented twice in tiger class one time and in cow class one more time and then which class we have to create an object we can create an object for tiger class and if i call this eat method this will be Executed this one. Suppose let us see. I will create an object for t is equal to tiger. This is an object of tiger class, and we cannot create object for animal class, but still we can create an object for tiger class and cow class because these two are extended from animal, and these two are not abstract classes now. So t equal to tiger. So that means I created an object for tiger class, and by using this reference variable, I can call eat method now which which method will be executed now i created an object for tiger class so that the eat method will be executed here okay now run this now it is giving eat non-witch and similarly when i create an object for cow let's say c is equal to cow now c dot eat now i have called eat method from the cow class now this will print eat witch okay so we can also create multiple classes multiple subclasses for the same abstract class and we can implement this abstract method in multiple classes also all right so this is a one more example now i'll tell you one more example here we can also create a, a constructor in abstract class so in abstract class along with the abstract method we can also create a constructor we can also create a constructor okay so we'll see that how we can do that and uh, before that i'm going to show you one more example let me remove this we'll use constructor in the next example right so here i will i'm going to show you one more thing suppose uh, in abstract class i have multiple sub uh, multiple abstract methods i have suppose in the subclass i have not i haven't implemented all the methods then what happens let us see the context here so for example here, uh, let me write it here. So for example here, I have a abstract class. Let's say A is an abstract class. 
So means it contains only abstract methods. Now I have created one more class called as a B extended from A. Now let us say in parent class, in the abstract class, I have a M1 and M2, two methods, two or abstract methods. Now in the change class, I have implemented only one method, only in one method. So can we create an object for B class or not? Okay, B class is extended from A class, A is an abstract class. So in the previous example we have seen, right? We cannot directly create an object for the abstract class, but we can create an object for change class because this class is implemented the method, right? So this class cannot be an abstract class because this is already implemented the method. So we created our object for change class and we are able to access the method. But now this is a different scenario. Suppose in the parent class, I have a two methods, both are abstract. In the change class, I have implemented only one method, still one method I have not implemented. So in that case, can we create an object for this class or not? Can we create an object for this or can we access this method one or not? So normally in the, as per the Python, whenever we create a subclass, we must do implementation for all the methods. Okay. We must do implementation for all the methods and then only we can create an object for the child class and then we can access those methods. Suppose if I implemented only one method, then what happens is still B is considered as an abstract class. Still B is a considered as an abstract class. Why it is an abstract class? Why it is considered? Because thus B contains an implementation of only M1 method. Still there is M2 method which is abstract which is not yet implemented. So that's the reason still B is considered as an abstract class. We cannot create an object for this. Suppose if you want to create an object again, what we need to do, we have to create one more class extended from B and in the C class, we can implement M2 method. And B is already implemented M1, C is a, now we are going to implement M2, both are implemented. Now I can create an object for C class. Okay, so this is the concept we have. Now I'll show you practically how we can implement this. Let me open PyCharm. So here, so please focus carefully. So here, what I'm doing is I am creating, first I will import uh, from ABC package. I will import uh, ABC class and also abstract method. All right. Now here I will write a phone abstract class called as a, let me just say as a X. Okay. This X must be extended from ABC. That is a predefined class. Now X is an abstract class. So inside this, I will create two different methods and both are abstract methods. So what I can say is diff, right? So diff M1, okay, M1. And uh, here I will not do anything, just I pass it. And then one more diff M2 and here self. And here also I'm not going to write anything, just pass it because we should not do have any implementation in the abstract class. So now I have to specify this uh, with the qualifier, right? What qualifier it is? It is abstract class, abstract method qualifier. And similarly, this method also I will define with the abstract, abstract method qualifier. Okay. Now I have just created one class and extended from ABC. As soon as I extended from ABC, X is becomes a what class? This is a abstract class. This is a abstract class. Now here, these two are abstract methods. Okay, abstract methods. Now, come back to the point. So here, I will create one more class to implement these two abstract methods. Okay, so let us say class Y, I created class Y, which is extended from X. Now what I have to do, I must implement these two methods inside the class Y. Okay, because Y is a subclass of abstract class. So where we have to implement these methods, we have to implement these methods inside the subclass. So here, what I can do is I will just implement uh, only one method. I'll just say uh, dev m1 method I will implement. And here I will just write uh, some message. Let us say print. So it is a print. Okay, so let's just this is m1. Okay. I have implemented only one method. Remember this. Okay. I have implemented only one method, which is coming from X. That is a static method. Now, why I have not implemented the second method yet? Okay. Now, can we create an object for Y? 
So in the previous example I have shown you, whenever we create a subclass, whenever we implemented those methods in the subclass, we can create an object for this class. Okay, then we can access, but this is not that case. In this case, we have a two methods in the abstract class. And in the child class, I have implemented only one method. Okay, now can we create an object for this or not? So here we cannot create object for class Y. Okay, even though if you create, this will give you an error. Let me just show you. I will create an object for Y. Let's say, say small Y is equal to Y. And I have just created an object for Y. Now I call Y dot, Y dot, which method? M1 method I should call. M1 method I should call. Okay, so now let's run this. Now you are getting an error. So what error you are getting? Let's read this. So type error can't instantiate abstract class Y with abstract methods M2. So what it is clearly saying is Y is a subclass of abstract class X. So here we have just implemented only M1. But still Y is acquired M2 also, right? Because Y is extended from X. That means whatever methods are belongs to X, which are also big belongs to Y, right? So in Y we have implemented only M1 method still M1 to M2 is still there. So we haven't implemented. So that's the reason still Y considered as an abstract class. So that's the reason we cannot instantiate Y because Y is again considered as an abstract class because we haven't implemented this method. Okay. Now how about should we do now? We can create one more class or we can implement the second method here itself or we can create one more class. So let's say I will create one more class called as Z and this class extended Y. Okay, now what happens? See now, Y is a class which is extended from X and implemented only one method. That means one method is already implemented. So we have to implement one more method. So if I extend Y into Z, now Z contains everything from Y. That means M1 is already implemented. So here just we have to implement only M2. That is enough, right? So here I will just implement def m2. Okay, implement def uh, m2. All right, so now here I will just print. All right, so print this is this is m2. This is m2. So now can we create an object for y? Yes, we can create because we already implemented m1. We already implemented m2. So both have been implemented so we can create an object for Z but we cannot create object for Y because Y is implemented only M1 still M2 is present but when you come to the Z Y is already extended here so we don't bother about M1 because Y in Y we already implemented now here we extended Y here so when I extend it uh, here what happens now whichever method we already implemented that is again belongs to Z okay because we have extended Y here. That means whichever method we already implemented in Y that is again belongs to Z. So again, we know it implement M1. So we just implement only whatever method we left in the Y. Okay. Now we have implemented M1 and M2 both are ready. So Z we can consider as a, we can create an object for Z class. Okay. Now let's create this. Let me just create Z is equal to Z small z okay this is z obj let me just put z obj object and this is a one so now by using this variable i will just call z obj dot i will call m1 first and then i will call z obj dot m2 right now we can call both the stuff click on the execute program now this is m1 this is m2 now how it is called First, it will execute M1. So where is M1 is implemented? First, it will go and verify in the Z. So here, can it find here M1? No. What happens now? It will go to the parent class. So here it will form. Now it will print the output. Now we have invoked M2. So it will go and check here first. So M2 is already there. So here it will execute. Okay. So this is how we can create multiple subclasses for one abstract class. Okay, we can implement the what we understood based on the example is if you have multiple methods, ab multiple abstract methods in the abstract class, we can implement them in multiple classes. So few methods we can implement one class and few more methods we can implement one more class. Okay, but these classes should be extend one by one. So here x is extended to y, 
y is extended to z and now we created we are able to create an object for z okay so this is a uh, one more example we learn right so now as i said before we can also use constructor in an abstract class we can also create an abstract uh, we can also create constructor in abstract class now we'll see how to create a constructor in abstract class so i'll show you one more example let's close this so how to create a constructor in abstract class and how we can access it now the first step i will import uh, abc package uh, from from abc import abc class and also we have to import abstract method so abstract method we have to import and then so here i will create one class called as a cal and i want to make this class as an abstract class so i, I should specify the abc which is predefined class now here I will define the constructor. So how to define the constructor in Python? Def underscore underscore init method underscore underscore self. This is the constructor, right? So constructor normally used for initializing the value, right? So I will also take one value also. Let me take one value. Okay, this is a constructor. Now inside the constructor, what I will do is, okay, so this is a local variable, right? So here value is a local variable. So I want to make this as a class variable so that I can access that variable in the subclasses in the other methods because this value is local for this particular constructor. Suppose if you want to access this value some other method you cannot access only within constructor you can access. But now I want to make this variable as a class variable. Okay, and then I can access in other methods, right? How we can make this variable as a class class variable. We have to make self dot value equal to value so this statement will make our local variable to class variable so self dot value is referring the class variable now okay so now along with this constructor i will create two abstract methods so first i will create diff add okay and uh, i'm not implementing the body just pass it and diff add and diff uh, subtraction i'll do sub and here self i'm not passing anything just pass it and these two are abstract method. So I need to specify at the rate abstract method, abstract method. And the second method also I will define with abstract, abstract method. So now both are abstract methods along with one constructor I have. Fine. So now if you want to implement these two methods, I must create one more subclass, right? So through class I can implement these methods, right? So I will create uh, one more class. I will name it as a C and this class is extended cal class that is abstract class. Now in this class I will implement these two methods. In this class I will implement uh, these two methods. What are those methods? Add and the sub. These two methods I will implement. So here C is a uppercase letter right? Cal. Now here I need to implement this. Let me implement def. Right so def what is the first method? Add. So add and here i will just print so see now observe this c is extended from cal right so cal is having one constructor so what this constructor will do this constructor will take the value from outside and initialize the self dot value so we have already existing value in the class level so in add method what i will do is whatever value have existed that is self dot value i will add something different so i will add 100 to the existing value okay as similarly i will also create i will also implement other method def sub and this is again cell and here i'll say print and uh, in subtraction what i will do is whichever value we have self dot uh, value from this i will subtract 10 minus 10 i will make okay so now i have implemented add and sub methods in the change class that is called as a c okay now we can see clearly here let me point it so here add is the implementation of this method here we have implemented and subtraction method we have implemented okay though implementation is there now can we create an object for c class yes we can create right now let us see so here observe this carefully this is very important point so when I create an object for C, let's say C is equal to C OBJ is equal to C. And uh, whenever I create an object, right, the constructor will automatically invoke, right? In C, C means 
it is extended from cal so whatever cal contains everything the c is also contains that means constructor is also part of it right so whenever i created an object what happens this will invoke the constructor okay so constructor expecting some value right so i'll just pass some value here let's say 100 so now what happens the, whenever i created an object here i'm passing some value 100 so 100 will go and store in value now self dot value will be assigned as a hundred and then through this object cobj cobj dot now i will call first add method and then cobj then i will call sub method okay now let's run this code and see what could be the output now you can see 20 90 so how it is executed so this returns uh, 20 and uh, 200 right so it's 200 and this returns uh, 90. So let us see how it is executed step by step. So this is our program, right? So first it is invoke this constructor 100. So it will go and verify in this class. So do we have a constructor in this class? Do we define the constructor in this class? No. But still this class is extended from cal class. So cal is having the constructor. So if constructor, it could not find the constructor here, then it will go and verify in the parent class. So here the constructor is there. So the 100 will be go here and value is 100. It will convert it into class variable self dot value. Now self dot value is equal to 100. Right now the next time I have called add method. So add method will go and verify here. Here we have defined. So here what we have written here self dot value plus 100. So what is the value of self dot 100? We already sent 100. So 100 plus this 100. So this will print 200 here. Okay, this will print 200 here. And similarly, I have called the second method. So when I call second method, what happened? It will go here and it refers the self dot value that is 100. 100 minus 10, 90 is returned. Okay, so this is how we need to implement a constructor within the abstract class. So constructor, these two are abstract abstract methods, and these two abstract methods we have to implement in a class subclass. And then we can create an object for the subclass and then you can call the abstract methods. So a few important parts we need to remember. Abstract class should be extended from ABC class. That is predefined class. Second point, we have to import this ABC. We have to import this ABC class from ABC package along with the abstract method qualifier. And not only extending ABC, we have to also specify that method is at the rate abstract method qualifier. Then only this becomes a abstract method remember this okay and uh, abstract methods with abstract classes we cannot create objects directly if you want to create an object we must implement these methods in the subclasses like this and uh, for the subclass we can create an object and we can call those methods and in the subclass we must implement all the methods if i don't implement any one of these method still the subclass is also considered as a abstract class we cannot create an object for that Okay, so these are the important points. Why abstraction is required for only security? So if you want to secure our methods and everything, we can make them as an abstract. And one more case is, if you know the requirement, but you don't know the how to implement those methods, you can just create abstract classes. And as soon as you know the design part or how to implementation part, you can go and create subclasses and then implement all those abstract methods. Okay, so this is the context of abstraction in Python. So we can create abstract classes within this we have only abstract methods okay so that's all for video so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this thank you all.